So I don't think you'll believe just how much I got this stack of PlayStation 5 games for. It was an epic score. So hi everyone and welcome back to a midweek gaming grabs video with me, Pixel Paul. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you can hit that subscription button, that would be very much appreciated. And thank you for pressing play. So welcome to a midweek gaming grabs video. Um, bit unusual this one, should be a little bit shorter than normal. Um, and it's centered predominantly around the PlayStation 5. So last, I think it was last Monday, um, I managed to grab um, a pile of games, PlayStation 5 games mainly, for absolutely sort of bargain prices. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you may be already know which games I've picked up. Um, but um, you know, I, for the I thought for this, I would uh, I'd do a quick video just to show what you can find if you do sort of shop around and. To be honest, if you have that little bit of luck as well, um, there's no skill involved in this. I must admit, this was just a complete and utter fluke, really. I just happened to be in there at the right time and managed to grab some absolute bargains. So when I say in there, um, I'm talking about Smith's Toys Superstore, which if you're watching this from outside the UK, Smith's Toys is pretty much now the UK's, I don't want to say only, uh, toy retailer but it's certainly the biggest toy retailer that we have in this country since Toys R Us uh, sadly closed um, but and for me toy, uh, Smith's Toys has become probably my go-to place for brand new games so I'm not someone who particularly buys that many games on day one uh, really but when I do buy a brand new game I do tend to go to Smith's I have a Smith's or Amazon um, I don't tend to go to game that much to get them. Um, I, I don't go to CEX to buy, certainly sort of PlayStation 5 games. I, I don't buy them from CEX because I tend to find that they're a little bit overpriced in CEX. Um, for whatever reason, uh, some other places like Amazon, like Smith's, you know, the prices of their games, they're, they're pretty good. They do sort of track and change the, the prices of their games quite often. Um, whereas CEX are a little bit slow when it comes to sort of current gen games for whatever reason. Plus you're buying them secondhand from there as well. So Smith's Toy Superstar is always the sort of go-to place for me to buy uh, certainly sort of PlayStation 5, brand new PlayStation 5 games. Um, now, the first game which I got um, wasn't part of like the big sort of um, clearance uh, deal that I managed to get, but it was reduced. Um, it's a game that I, well, it's a series that I really, really love um, and have done for a long time. Um, and I've been waiting patiently um, for this character to sort of make a return back to gaming. It was announced tail end of last year that this game was going to be released. Uh, it came out, had really good reviews. I've seen people on Instagram raving about this game. Um, but I've been just patiently waiting for a bit of a price drop. And it has dropped recently. And that game is Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. Um, so yeah, I do. I really love this series. I cannot wait to get this game uh, opened. All of these games are still sealed, by the way. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to give this a go. I have been looking forward to playing it. Obviously, when it first came out, it came out full sort of retail price. But I did suspect that the price of this may drop quite soon. Um, and it has done relatively quickly, actually. Um, so I got this for $24.99, which is... A decent price drop to be fair so it's normally around that sort of 39.99 mark when i think when it came out um at the moment i think cex still selling this for 38 pounds uh, and they're giving you 25 pound on a voucher on it so brand new sealed copy of it for 24.99 really happy to grab that uh, and can't wait to give it a go really looking forward to playing that one if you've already played it though let me know what you thought of it in the comments so on to what I would sort of say are the really sort of big bargains that I picked up last week. Now, over the last, I'd say maybe two years, I've picked up some pretty good deals from uh, Smith's Toys. In particular, the Smith's Toys near to me. Um, very occasionally, they will put out games for uh, clearance prices. Why they do that, I'm not 100% sure. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. 
I suspect it's for games that they've possibly overstocked in, haven't been able to sell at cheaper prices. So they literally put them down to almost bargain bin prices and try to get rid of them that way. And um, yeah, the, the ones that I've picked up, it's a mixed bag. I've, I've got to admit, it's a mixed bag, but there is one absolute killer deal in here, which obviously I'll wait till, the, you know, I'll leave that till the end. Um, so I'll show you which ones I've picked up. And I'll also tell you the prices I've paid and how much CEX are currently sort of giving you on a voucher on them as well. So the first game, and I hope you stick with me after showing I show you this game. It's a PlayStation 4 game. They didn't have it on PlayStation 5, unfortunately. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference with the trading price, but it is uh, this one. Lord of the Rings Gollum, which was right up there as being one of the, apparently, worst games released last year. Um, so yeah, obviously I've not played it, still not opened it yet. I probably will give this a quick go, to be quite honest, just to see just how bad it is. I paid £3 for this, just £3. I know it'll be full of comments from you all saying it's not even worth that. Well, it actually, at the moment, still is just about because CEX are selling it for £15 and they will give you £10 on a voucher for this game. So yeah, I am going to have a very quick look at it. There is a PS5 upgrade available on it. Um, so I will probably give it just a quick go, just to say, you know, yeah, I, I confirm the suspicions that it is absolutely awful. But yeah, I will probably be getting that traded in uh, to CEX for a voucher and make £7 on that which is not bad at all, really. Right, we'll get on to the sort of better games now. Um, I'll say better, but like I said, they are a bit of a mixed, mod, mixed bunch. But uh, next up is NBA 2K23. Now, I, I don't know if this was... Was this a launch game for the PlayStation 5? I'm not 100% sure if it was 2K23 or 2K22. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, not a massive basketball fan. But again, for £3... £3 for this one, sealed, brand new. Um, I, yeah, I wasn't going to leave that on the shelf. for. Um, yeah, I had to pick that up. Uh, CEX currently selling it for £12, and you get an £8 voucher on that. So again, £5 uh, sort of profit on that one, if you like, when I trade that in. Again, I'll probably give it a quick go, but um, yeah, it will be going into the trading pile. £3 for that one. Again, £3. Uh, Lego Brawls. So, yeah, don't know much about this game at all. I'm not a huge Lego game fan particularly. Um, I know Pixel Jr. may want to give this a quick go, um, but he's more interested in Fortnite and Minecraft and all the others. So um, he may give it a quick go. But again, um, this goes for £10 in CEX at the moment, and they will give you a £6 voucher. So I'll be doubling my money on that one. Uh, and we start to get into the better ones here. Now, this one was the only copy they had of this. Uh, again, three pounds, and it is Power Wash Simulator. Now, when I showed these games on uh, my Instagram account, this was one of the ones that uh, people were really sort of impressed with, saying it's an absolutely amazing game. Um, I don't know a huge amount about it. Uh, I imagine it's sort of a, sort of possibly a bit puzzly sort of game, maybe. Um, but um, yeah, I do quite like doing Power Rush in real life. So um, this will be very interesting to play. But yeah, three pounds for that. Uh, 15 pounds CEX are selling this for, and they will give you 10 pounds on a voucher for it. So again, if I, if I feel like it's not for me, that'll be seven pounds uh, in the bank. But yeah, it does look uh, weird. It looks good fun though. Next up is WWE 2K22. Obviously, there's been another two games after this, um, but this game was a bit of a return to form, apparently, because 20, I think it was 20, was an absolute disaster, wasn't it? And they missed out 21. Uh, and then they released 22, and apparently it was much better. £3 paid for this. Uh, CEX is selling it for 10, and you get £6 on a voucher again. So, um, yeah, I, I'm thinking of at least keeping it in the short term, giving it a quick go see what it's like, um, but it could, again, be some another one I'll look to, to cash in on. But yeah, WWE 2K22. And then on to the last one, and this is, 
I couldn't believe my luck when I saw this on the shelf. Um, there was only one. All the all the other games kind of had two or three boxes on the shelves. Um, there was one copy of this on the shelf. And I couldn't believe that I'd seen this. Um, it, it just felt like such an absolute steal. So like I said, I have been, I've been quite lucky with Smiths over the years. <clears throat> I think um, I've picked up a copy of A Plague Tale Innocence on PlayStation 5 for £10 in a clearance offer. Um, I've also picked up uh, Call of Duty Vanguard on PlayStation 5. That was a fiver as well, £5. And um, a bit more recently, I think it was the last one I picked up, was Strangers of Paradise, the Final Fantasy Origins game, um, which was all right. Again, that was £5. So I've done okay with these clearance offers um, over the, the last sort of two years. But for me, I think this one probably tops it off. And it is Final Fantasy 16, PlayStation 5, brand new and sealed. Now, this is a game that I had been considering around sort of Christmas time picking up. They did sort of knock it down to about $29.99 just before Christmas. It went back up full price after Christmas. And then in the last week or two, I've noticed a few places have started to sell this for about that price again, that $29.99. I paid £10 for it and I just couldn't believe my luck because I think for £10, for a game that is less, I want to say less than six months old, um, you know, such a big name title, you know, it's it's a huge game for the PlayStation 5, really. Um, I know it had sort of a mixed re reaction uh, from some people. I think in the main, most people have said it's pretty good. Um, most people are saying that it's not a Final Fantasy game, and it's more like a sort of Devil May Cry hack and slash game in a way. Um, but I don't mind that particularly. Um, I gave the demo a quick go and quite enjoyed it. Um, but I can understand possibly why it has upset some people. But um, yeah, for £10, brand new and sealed, yeah, it was a no-brainer. I had to pick that up. I had to pick it up. Um, currently, at the moment, CEX are still selling this for 28 So just slightly underneath that uh, sort of current markdown price if you like but again second hand copies and um, but they do give you 18 pounds on a voucher so again if i play it for a bit and decide it's not for me which i don't think i'm gonna um yeah i'll make a, about eight pounds on that so yeah those were the buys i couldn't believe my luck it was just pure chance to be to be quite honest um but yeah really really happy to get that lot like i say for those sort of those ones um total paid was 25 pounds for that lot um if i'd paid if i'd gone to cex to buy those and you know bear in mind you'd be getting them second hand it would cost you 90 quid for that lot um and the total sort of trading value for those is 58 pounds so more that you know i'd more than double my money really um and it makes me think should i have picked up a cop another copy of each of them um but at the same time i'm I'm sort of thinking, well, you know, that stops somebody else from getting the thrill like I've done of uh, being able to pick up some absolute bargains. To be fair, I think they only had that one copy of Final Fantasy, which I grabbed. But um, so, yeah, I mean, I think I probably will be keeping three of them and selling three of them to CEX. Um, the three that I'm going to sell more than likely are those. Those are combined at £24 for a voucher. So, you know, just selling those will mean that I've got those for a pound. So, yeah, epic deal, epic deal, really. Um, but yeah, the pick of the bunch, those two, I cannot wait to play those two. Um, and part of me is really looking forward to playing that one as well. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, was that a good deal? Have you been able to find any deals like that? The clearance sort of prices at Smith's Toys? I've been out for a couple of trips um, recently and, well, since getting those, to I think two other Smiths and they've had nothing, no other clearance offers. I really don't know if it's just this Smiths to Toys Superstore that are doing it, but I rarely see sort of that clearance sticker at any of their other stores. Um, so it may just be pure luck. But if you've managed to find any deals like that, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. And um, yeah, let's keep everybody in the loop. And if you see deals like this, let everybody know. Or don't, maybe keep it to yourself. I'll leave that up to you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I um, really appreciate uh, your time. Like I said, this was only going to be a short sort of video, um, but I really do appreciate it. Um, really happy with those games. 
Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, like I said before, if you can hit that subscription button, it would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.